Good morning, everybody. I'm Stephen. Welcome back to Canon.com and other technical analysis. This week we're doing our deep fundamental and te technical analysis dives into Metafarm, uh, the Canadian company specializing in making uh, cannabis concentrates and cannabis oils. Uh, interesting revenue streams for this company, so make sure and read the fundamental. Uh, but let's jump over to the pricing chart and, and see what we can learn this week. You'll see we're looking at MEDIF, that's Metafarm Labs. Uh, this is on the OTC, so the stock ticker here in the United States. Uh, and we're looking at a couple uh, moving averages. Here we have our, our simple moving averages, the short period, the 50, and the 200, the longer period. Uh, so the red is the 50, the green is the 200. And you can see a, a formulation that we've uh, seen many times before when the 50 short-term period crosses below the long-term period uh, a death cross right that would be a, a sign to short the stock here at three dollars and 42 cents uh, and you can see after that the stock did indeed come down about 40 cents so that would have been a nice little uh, gain had you had the patience to uh, stand around this bump here um, we're also looking at a couple different um, forms of weighted averages. As you know, moving averages are so powerful. Uh, so here we have the EVWMA and the VWAP. Here's volume, uh, and it's going to be a moving average adjusted by price. Uh, there's also an MACD here. Um, and this is kind of an elastic volume weighted moving average. So two different takes on moving averages uh, adjusted by volume. Uh, which is an interesting way to normalize the data. And what you can see, we're going to watch for crosses here again. Uh, when these two indicating lines cross each other, you can see the same uh, thing. Each, each one of these crosses is going to indicate a, a bullish opportunity here and a bearish opportunity here. And what do we see recently? We see another uh, bearish opportunity with this fresh cross here. Uh, in November, November 14th. And you can see that the cross uh, is a little bit delayed as compared to the uh, death cross that we have from the simple moving averages. And that's the difference that you get from the math uh, when you actually uh, normalize by volume. So a really interesting analysis. We, we skip, we get our bearish signal, but we skip this little false uh, bump. Uh, so although the death cross here did indeed go down, it, it you know it took a lot of uh, uh, fortitude to not get out of the trade there. Whereas you can see it's taken taken into account here when we when we normalize by volume, and then we get the downward movement. Pretty easy to uh, see with the MACD there uh, in the background as well. So continue to learn these variations of moving averages. They're so so powerful. Uh, and they really, really help uh, clear up uh, indicators and, and what exactly to do. Uh, so thanks so much. Uh, keep learning and keep trading.